In a world where almost everything gets more expensive, the once prosperous and developing middle class can no longer afford the previous standard of living. Last five decades have been crushing for middle income households. So in this video, we've compiled 20 things that the middle class can no longer afford. But before moving to the first point in our list, consider supporting our channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Now, let's get back to the topic. Number one, housing. Over 75% of homes on the market are too expensive for middle-class buyers due to the housing supply shortage. Elevated mortgage rates mean that the market is missing around 320,000 homes priced at or below 256,000 US dollars. Maximum price a middle-income buyer earning up to $75,000 can afford. Middle-income buyers could only afford 23% of the 1.1 million listings on the market in April. Number 2. Housing Maintenance If a family is lucky enough to own a house, maintaining it is another story. Last year, homeowners spent an average of $6,000 on maintenance and repairs, according to a recent report from insurance firm Hippo. Nationally, the average annual maintenance cost of single-family homes during the first quarter of 2023 was 6,409 American dollars, up about 9% year over year. Number 3. Home Renovations Families spent thousands of dollars to make their houses more comfortable. In 2022, Angie reported that the average expenditure of homeowners on various home improvement projects was $8,484. Even though the interest rates are on the rise, 50% of people still intend to spend a similar amount on home improvement projects in the year 2023, while 28% of homeowners plan to spend less. 22% of them are looking to spend more on home improvement projects. Number 4. Rent The average monthly rent for all types of apartments in the United States increased significantly in 2021, as of February 2023, the average monthly rent for a two-bedroom apartment in the United States reached $1,320, up from $1,282 a year earlier. Roughly 370,000 middle-class families spent more than 30% of their income on housing, a threshold that experts say makes them cost-burdened. Number 5. Healthcare According to a report, middle-class Americans face the highest risk of medical debt, with almost one in four, about 17 million people having outstanding medical bills. Middle-income families are stuck with medical bills because they earn 50 to 100,000 US dollars a year and are more likely than those with lower incomes to seek care but don't qualify for Medicaid or charity care to help pay for it. Number 6. Child Care what can be more important than a future generation? Unfortunately, childcare services right now cost a fortune. According to a recent report by Care.com, 67% of parents spent 20% or more of their household income on childcare, up from 51% who reported spending that much in 2022. The report also found that 79% of families anticipate spending more than $9,600 US dollars per child this year, with many spending significantly more. On average, families spend 27% of their household income on childcare. For 59% of parents surveyed, this means shelling out $18 a year per child. Number 7. Long-Term Care the population of middle-class seniors in America is projected to reach 16 million by 2033, an 89% increase from current levels. A new report shows that 8 in 10 Americans are unprepared to cover the cost of long-term care, like living at a nursing facility. Number 8. Education The average cost of college in the United States is over $36 US per student per year, which includes expenses for books, supplies, and daily living. Its cost has more than doubled in the 21st century, with an annual growth rate of 2% over the past decade. Most concerning thing is that a college degree will become more expensive for tens of thousands of middle-class families, and removing the so-called sibling discount will hit household budgets. Number 9. Private Schools or Tutoring American satisfaction with K-12 education in the U.S. dropped to a record low 36%, according to Gallup's 24-year tracking. 
Annual tuition at an average private high school is over 16,000 US dollars. Connecticut is one of the states in the US where the cost of tuition can be pretty high. In fact, the average tuition cost is over $22,000. This amount is significantly more than what students will pay at the University of Connecticut this fall, which is 18,524 US dollars. 10. Child Extracurricular Activities Pursuing hobbies such as sports, music lessons, and others can be financially burdensome. According to a report by Lending Tree, 71% of Americans with children, the parents spending on average of over $730 American dollars per child annually. 11. Food the United States Department of Agriculture predicts that food prices will continue to rise in 2023, but at a slower rate than in 2022. The USDA predicts that food prices will increase in 2023, with an overall increase of 5.8%. Food from grocery stores is predicted to rise by 5.1%, while food from restaurants or other establishments is expected to increase by 7.1%. One in four U.S. parents say there have been times in the past year when they could not afford food their family needed. 12. Emergency Expenses Regarding income, around 73% of households earning below $50,000 or between $50,000 and $75,000 annually are experiencing a decrease in savings due to inflation. Most households with lower incomes have no backup savings. As of May 2023, those with lower and middle incomes were the most likely to state that they do not have any emergency savings. 13. Debt Consumers' balance sheets are under pressure due to the combination of inflation and rising interest rates. In the second quarter of this year, ending in June, U.S. consumers accumulated an additional $43 billion U.S. dollars in credit card debt. This amount is more than three times the average new debt households have taken on in the same period since the end of the Great Recession in 2008. 14. Energy Bills The average monthly electricity bill for residential customers in the United States experienced a significant increase of 13% from 2021 to 2022, from 121 U.S. dollars to 137 U.S. dollars a month. Inflation also played an important role during this period, reaching an alarming rate of 8% in 2022, which is a 40-year high. After adjusting for inflation, the decrease in electricity bills was recorded at 5%. 15. Transportation Many Americans consider a thousand US dollar mortgage payment to be high. They might be surprised to learn about the average car payments in the US. In the second quarter of 2023, Record number of Americans paid $1,000 or more per month on their car loans due to higher auto loan rates and vehicle prices. Over 17% of consumers who financed a new car opted for a monthly payment of $1,000 or more. 16. Retirement Savings Did you know that 53% of working baby boomers who are not saving for their retirement have no plans to start saving? Shockingly, only 9% of middle-income workers save 15% or more of their income for their retirement. 17. High-Quality Clothing The average household's cost for clothing per month is about $120. That's over $1,400 US dollars per year. That number includes clothing products and services like tailoring. Latest data shows that consumers have cut back on clothing more than any other non-essential category due to inflation-fueled spending cuts. 18. Entertainment According to a recent survey by Primerica, 76% of middle-income earners are spending less than usual on things such as restaurant meals and entertainment. The reason behind this trend is that their paychecks are not going as far as they used to, due to the tight financial situation. 19. Vacations Many middle-class Americans have reduced their vacation expenses, According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, from May 2021 to May 2022, the index of airline fares rose by 37.8%. However, in May 2023, the index showed a drop of 13.4% from the previous year. Insider reports suggest that round-trip flights from the U.S. to Europe were averaging $1,200, which is a 37% increase from both 2019 and 2022. 20. Legal Services 
Over 57 million people are eligible for legal aid during the federal test for income eligibility, which is set at 125% of the current poverty line or less. However, this estimate falls significantly short of the actual need for legal services, as a considerable proportion of middle-class individuals are unable to afford legal representation for significant legal issues. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and let us know what you think about the subject in the comments section below.